Goku vs Thanos. Who would win in a battle of two titans, the Infinity Stones vs the Ultra Instinct? Who will be the victor and who will die? What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mass Star Media. You may be wondering what the hell is up with your background? Well, I'm doing some remodeling and uh, there was like this old nasty like 80s wallpaper on here. And I've been like trying to take down this crap and because I'm going to paint it. I'm going to do this whole like nice set behind me. I'm just really tired of working with a green screen all the time. So don't mind this nasty wallpaper. What we're here to do is we're here to react to UHG's brand new animation, Goku vs Thanos. Now Goku vs Thanos has been a huge debate among fans. You got you got all the super, the Marvel fans like, ah, Thanos would wipe the floor with Goku. And all the anime fans and Dragon Ball fans are like, ah, Goku would wipe the floor with Thanos. Well here today, we're gonna find out. As UHG Animations has put together Goku vs Thanos, the fan animation. I'm really excited about watching this. UHG Animations is a great animator right here on YouTube and he's done a lot of very fantastic Dragon Ball animations. Now the last time I watched UHG's animation, I critiqued it at the end and I said, the animation is great, but what I'd love to see is a little bit of dialogue between the characters, maybe explain why they're fighting, because I know that anime fans love to hear backstory, they love to hear dialogue between these two characters from different worlds. Um, that kind of connection and, and back and forth means a lot to fans. So I'm really hoping that you put some of that in here and I'm excited to see the improvements you made to your art and animation quality as well. Personally, I think Goku would mop the floor with Thanos, but we'll have to see what UHG gives us today. And as always guys, if you haven't seen the animation, please go click the link in the description and go check it out for yourself first, give him the proper views and then come back here and enjoy it with me. And without further ado, ladies and gents, let's react to Goku vs Thanos, just in time for Avengers 4. It's a really good idea to make this animation right now because people are hyped for Avengers 4. You know, there's a lot of hype between Goku vs Thanos. Ooh, I like that intro. That looks really cool. I wonder how you did that 3D with the shiny stuff on it. That's nice. Oh, anime Thanos. All right. Looks pretty good. Goku's in base form. All right, so why are you guys fighting? He's got two stones? So, Thanos just wants to fight- Oh, okay, here we go. He just wants to fight a strong Earthling? How- like, how does Goku's punch do nothing? Damn, that- I like the shading, man. Thanos looks good. The art looks amazing in this. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, hold on a second here. So, first of all, Goku's punched in nothing to Thanos? Okay, like, I understand maybe he's suppressing his key, maybe he's trying to feel Thanos out and stuff like that, but... Uh, no, 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 no. Goku would... Goku would... is much stronger than the Hulk, alright? He would smash Thanos! That punch would've sent him into a mountain, and then Thanos just one-shot Goku? I don't know about all this. Alright, let's continue. But Goku, he might be suppressing his key, so... and I like that they're talking... I like the detail in the art here, man. It looks really awesome. Anime Thanos, boy. Oh, he likes it. He likes it. Okay, here we go. Super Saiyan. With Super Saiyan 2 electricity. Thanos isn't impressed. Nice clean artwork, dude. Oh, he called Goku a pathetic spe One arm, my boy! One arm! There you go, Goku. You got some Kung Fu in there? Alright, Goku. So he's got the power stone and what other stone? Okay, so Thanos can shoot key blasts and Goku's getting wrecked. Here we go. Is this Ultra Instinct? Or is that is that blue? Okay, it's blue. Alright, here we go. Bust out the Kaioken! Nothing. Wow. Here you go, Goku. Wait, 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 there, wait, hold on, hold on, they're in the, they're in the Tournament of Power now? <laughs> wait a sec, they were just on Earth fighting, and then Goku used instantaneous movement, and now they're in the World of the Void? Okay. There you go, Goku. There you go, Goku, get him. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, that doesn't feel good, Thanos, you don't like that, huh? 
Justice to Flash! Man, this feels like... This feels like a tournament of power right now. Like Goku vs. Jiren. Thanos is pissed. The art looks really good in this. Okay, here we go. You just... Goku's had enough. That was a quick Ultra Instinct transfer. Oh, he's pulling out the... The Cell move. The Instinct Kamehameha. Oh, he's gonna... Oh, you're done. Ultra Instinct Kamehameha to the face. That's it. You're done. It's over. Or is it? Oh, he's base form. That's it. Goku beat him. Two thumbs up. Awesome work there, UHG Animations. I'm glad Goku won, but I think you were trying to say, like, if Thanos had all of the stones, he probably would have won against Ultra Instinct Goku. So, I don't know. I like that you kind of, like, played nice to both sides of the fandoms. Like, you gave Goku the win, but, like, it wasn't an easy win. He didn't just, like, one-shot Thanos. And at the same time, Thanos wasn't at full power, I guess. So maybe you should do a part two with Thanos has the entire Infinity Gauntlet completed. And then he could just snap his fingers and pretty much just erase Goku. And I think that's where like most of the fandom uh, from, from Marvel is like, yeah, go Thanos would win because he could just snap his fingers and Goku's done. But would that Hakai technique work against Goku? That's a good question. I love this animation, dude. I love that you had some dialogue between the characters. I still would have liked to know like why they're fighting, like how did they get there and, and stuff. I guess your dialogue was just saying that like Thanos wants to fight the strongest Earthling and Earthling and Goku's like, I'll give you a challenge. Anyways, it was still cool. I like that you took my suggestion and then implemented the dialogue. Continue to do that. Continue to expand on it, dude, because anime fans love the dialogue between the characters from different universes. Seeing the way they interact is like, it's it's awesome for fans to, to see. So keep working on that. It was really, really good. Uh, 9.5 out of 10, dude. If you expand the dialogue a little bit more, just kind of slow down your animation, like draw it out a little bit more. Uh, it'd be 10 out of 10, dude. Like, for example, Goku is, like, fighting a Super Saiyan Blue, and then he just, like, randomly goes into Ultra Instinct. So, you know, if you, like, hyped up that moment right before Goku and Ultra Instinct and used the instant Kamehameha and killed Thanos, like, you can get more emotions out of your audience. Like, they'll start cheering more. I still, I, I love this, dude. I think this is your best animation yet, in my opinion. Your art skill has improved. Your animation stepped up. Um, everything is just, like, you're improving as an animator and a producer overall. Uh, I really, really love this, dude. And I'm glad Goku won. I said it. I'm glad Goku won. Thumbs up if you're glad Goku won. Leave a comment if you think Thanos should have won. And I'll be seeing you guys soon with some more videos. And hopefully a better background.